In this video, we're going to have a second look at some of the improvements we've made to Rice Suite Universal 2015. Uh, the first improvement uh, involves primarily the drawing screen, and it's an improvement we've made uh, to our vaulted ceiling tools. Um, we still have a, a few improvements actually uh, still slated to come uh, in uh, coming days uh, for some of our vaulted ceilings, uh, but the first one we've uh, completed is uh, we've added some notation to the ceiling tools to allow you to have better identify uh, the different components of the vaulted ceiling. See, if I have a vaulted ceiling that I've drawn uh, over a building or over a room uh, and uh, select uh, that type of vaulted ceiling, we've added notation that identifies the various parts of that vaulted ceiling. Uh, it makes it much easier to use the property sheet. Uh, we identify which side is H1, which side is H2, what's side 1 and side 2 uh, for various ceiling types, right? Now, shed roof tells me uh, which side is the H1 and H2 dimension. Uh, if I was using uh, the frustrum, it would tell me the L1 and the L2 sides were. So if I wanted to make an adjustment and bring this vault in a little bit closer, I know I need to make that adjustment to my L2 dimension and not the L1 dimension. It makes it a lot easier to work with. Um, now, if you don't want to show this ceiling notation on a finished drawing, uh, all you need to do is uh, right-click the uh, drawing screen itself, the backyard as we sometimes call it, uh, go to the Notations tab, um, and from there you can adjust the uh, Show Vaulted Ceiling uh, Side Notation. If I say no, the program will hide that notation, so that if I do want to print this on a drawing, um, it won't show up. Uh, with the, uh, the notation labels. Uh, the default setting is, however, that they be turned on. Um, this is not something the user will have to come and turn on uh, themselves. The default setting out of the box will be um, that the notation itself is turned on. Uh, you simply have to have the latest version of the software. Um, now, uh, the next uh, uh, set of improvements both affect the um, uh, duct tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a, a drawing that I've already done um, that uh, has a duct design. Now, I'm actually going to clear that duct design out of here uh, so that I'm working just with this, uh, this duct system here. Um, and the duct design that I'm going to do here, I'm going to use uh, two of uh, Rightsoft new tools here in uh, creating this duct design. The first of these new features is an automatic branch drawing tool. Um, now, with our automatic branch drawing tool, um, the program is going to allow me to more quickly uh, draw a duct design. Uh, what I'll have to do, this will really only apply to true trunk and branch designs. Um, that having been said, uh, when a user is doing a trunk and branch style design, let's say I have a trunk line that heads off this way uh, and stops about here, and then picks up on an elbow. It does help if you actually make the connection. Let's try that again. There we are. Um, and continue on from here. Now this will be the trunk line for this side, and uh, off to this side we'll run, I'll just run a straight line here. Um, and what the program will do with the use of this new button here, is the program will automatically connect all of the branch runs uh, to that trunk that I drew. Now, uh, the logic that it uses is going to connect these branch runs to the closest point on the trunk line, which most frequently results in a nice 90 degree angle like this. Um, however, because this little guy sticks out on the corner, the closest point to the trunk was right there on this corner. Uh, fortunately, um, this button only applies when you press it, um, and that means um, this is not going to continually want to be connected here. All I have to do is click this and drag that in onto where I do want it to connect. Um, again, it helps if you get that line nice and straight. There we are. All things considered, in trunk and branch design, this could save a considerable amount of time um, uh, when trying to draw out a, a, duck, a duck system. Now, the uh, next uh, feature that I'd like to show you, and the last feature I'd like to show you, is a uh, a setting from the duct preferences page. We've added to the duct preferences page. Um, it involves uh, when you would like these duct runs here to end in a section of flex duct. Uh, so what you can do is you duct preferences page. You can go to show right D duct preferences or uh, click on the duct tool for duct preferences. And uh, if I scroll down this little page a little bit and I, and I find um, the second section down here, um, the automatic flex end or auto flex end option becomes available here. Um, and if I click on that little down arrow there, um, I can choose whether I'd like to have automatic flex ends at all. Well, I can say none and I won't get any. Um, I can choose just the supply side, uh, just the return side, or both. Um, I'm going to do just the supply side for my flex ends. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to set um, an actual 
uh, uh, distance that I would like to flex sense to, to use. Uh, it's important to do it in this order if you're going to do it after the fact like I am um, because uh, it really is a, a, a single time application um, otherwise I might have to redraw some of the duct work because um, the program does have to divide the ducts into multiple pieces uh, and it gets trickier the more times you, you, you run this. Um, so uh, I'm going to say that I, I use five foot uh, lengths of flex and I choose supply as my option. Remember, it's very helpful to set the length before you choose uh, what will have the automatic ends. Uh, but now if I go back to my drawing screen, I'll see that each of these uh, ducts ends in a piece of flex duct, which I could bend, although most of the time you find that these uh, are going to be running straight. Um, but it has all the properties of flex duct and will behave like flex duct, where the rest is traditional round sheet metal. So it's simply a setting on the duct preferences page where you set whether or not you want automatic flex ends and the length. Remember to set the length first and then choose where you'd like to have the automatic flex ends. That concludes this round of improvements for our Right Suite Universal 2015 software. Um, we do have a few more coming out, so stay tuned for uh, the videos uh, that will explain how to use those new features uh, when we do roll them out. Um, but in the meantime, thank you very much for your time and have a good day.